Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. And for those of you that's just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for those of you that's been my faithful patrons, double salute. Now, today's video, we're jumping into talking about the best secured credit cards with no annual fees for bad credit. And the reason we're choosing this these type of cards is because of a strategy I want to introduce you guys to. So, the first secured credit card, unfortunately, uh, is no longer in existence. But the card isn't, but the bank is. But it still can give you leverage. It's the Wells Fargo Secured Credit Card. Now, the Wells Fargo Secured Credit Card, it was going from $300 up to $10,000. And it pulls from your FICO 9. So if you have strong enough credit now, uh, you still can get other Wells Fargo cards. You just can't get this secured card. Now, it used to be between 6 to 12 months to graduate. And they stopped accepting applications for the card back in December of 2019. But here's the thing about it. They do offer business bank accounts as well. And they offer secured business credit cards. They just don't offer the secured personal credit cards anymore. Now, here's a card that I think if you're able to get into their program, it's the Navy Federal in rewards card, credit card, right? And to become a member, I made a video. So if you want to see that video, just put a comment. Hey, Houston, can I see that video? But one of the things about this that I'm always telling people is all about the relationship. So encouraging you to open up a personal account and a savings account. They do pull your Equifax FICO 9. Okay. Now the deposits on the end rewards, Navy Federal end rewards security card is about $200. Okay. And they pull that money from your savings account. There's no annual fees, which is great. Uh, if you have limited bad credit, it's best for you. And it reports to all three credit bureaus. Now they have a rewards program for every dollar you spend. They give you a point, but that point is only worth one cent. Right. So that's not a big factor there. But you can choose between a MasterCard and Visa. And every six months, they review your account. So the first six months, if you're using this $200 and they review your account, that $200 can turn into $2,000. Okay? Especially if you have bad credit. That's definitely a, a big uh, jump. Now, a few ways to boost up your credit score so that you can actually... Uh, start rebuilding your credit is if you're paying rent, you can sign up for Boom Pay or Rental Karma. Uh, if you use your debit card a lot and you want to report your trans, your debit card transactions, you can download the app, Extra Debit Credit Card app, and it reports all your debit transactions to the credit bureau. You can add authorized users. You can uh, use Experian Boost. You can also use Grow Credit. So if you're paying utility bills and stuff like that, or a different subscription like Netflix, Hulu, things of that nature, you can use those for that to help build up the credit. And that'll build you up from 25 to 100 points right there. Now, this here card, the U.S. Secured Credit Card. And I want to tell you guys, if I were you, if you're fortunate to get access to this card, do it. Okay, and the reason is, is because not only the credit limits go anywhere from 300 to 5,000. So if you're trying to get high limit uh, primary trade lines on your credit and you have the money, this is definitely the one uh, card that you want. Now, they do pull your TransUnion FICO 8 score. All right. And we talk about FICO 8, FICO 9 scores, and I'll tell you what's the difference in a minute. Now, um, after six to 12 months, it graduates. Now, I always tell people, build a relationship. So with them, they do offer personal savings, personal accounts, savings accounts, as well as business bank accounts. So that's definitely something for you to keep in mind. Now, this here, um, excuse me. Sorry, guys, I forgot to change the title on this, but it's the Capital One Platinum Security Card, and they have a Pl Capital One, um, 
they have another Capital One uh, security card. But they Capital One pulls from all three credit bureaus on your FICO 8. There's no fees. It's six months to graduate. Uh, you don't need a Capital One account to apply. And they offer business accounts and they pull from FICO 8 as well. Now, you have this here State Department Federal Credit Union card. Now, this is a secured card. It used to didn't uh, convert over to a, a unsecured card. Well, now it does. Okay. And how you become a member of the State Department Federal Credit Union is you join the American Consumer Council. They don't do a hard pull. You can put in an application over the phone. So you can apply for the application as well as the savings account as well as uh, the card. So there's no fees for every dollar you spent, you get one point. It also graduates to the Platinum Rewards regular credit card, so which is great within the 6 to 12 months, okay? The unfortunate thing about the State Department, they do not offer business accounts. Now, uh, one of the things that I definitely tell you guys is to focus on building up your FICO 9 score because with the FICO 9 scores, uh, if you have coll medical collection, public records, it ignores that. Your FICO 9 scores, if you have a, a collection with a zero balance, uh, they don't count that. Um, rental history can help boost up your credit score. Uh, showing uh, utility bills on your accounts, cell phone and stuff like that, that helps boost up your credit score. Even adding an authorized user help boost up your credit score with the FICO 9. The FICO 8, most banks like Citibank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, uh, Capital One. Now, uh, Wells Fargo pulls from FICO 9. Uh, I think I said that earlier. But here's something about it. FICO 8 bank card for those other banks, major banks. Uh, the utilization is more sensitive. If you have uh, one late payment and that's all you have, is not as daunting on your credit as having multiple um, late payments. No authorized users. They're counting those. They're not counting the authorized users. And if you have uh, bills, collection bills with $100 or less, they don't count those as well. Now, if any of you have any questions about uh, building up your personal credit or setting up your corporation, I would definitely tell you set your corporation up now because if you set it up now, come January 1st, your corporation will be one years old. So the aging of your company is very important. All right.